Hello and welcome to today's video by the AM Academy. Today, I want to go through the workflow of scanning multiple objects at the same time with the Shining 3D Auto Scan Inspect Scanner, an automated metrology scanner that is specifically designed to, uh, well, scan high quality uh, parts that are pretty small and then partially automate that. So we've got this insert that has up to eight holes and I can put different items into each one of these and then they can be scanned at the same time. Today I'll just do two, maybe three of them and then we'll see what happens. Now the first thing you would normally need to do with a scanner like this is calibrate it. I've already done that, no need to recalibrate this time. So I'm going to take some Play-Doh and then I'm just going to remove parts of it and stick it into my plate thing here. There, that should be enough to make something stick in the hole. Like that. Then I need a little more. I'll use holes, I don't know, one, three, and six. I think that should be good. Make it go in there. Make sure there's enough to hold the whatever I'm sticking in there and then remove the excess and some more for hole number three. There we go. That looks good. So I've now filled up three of the holes and I'm gonna insert this um, into my scanner with the magnets. It'll just snap right in there. Nah, or so I thought, there we go. Now it's solid. And then I'll have this wall mount. I forgot what it's called in English. It's, it, is this a stud already? Whatever you put into the wall and then you put the screw in. So that's what this is. And I'll put that into the Play-Doh. And then I have an electrical plug. So that's item number two. And then I've got the dog that I already used for the single object scan. And I'm going to use that as well. I'm going to stick it in there head first. Okay, so those are my three items that I want to scan, and um, the scanner is already calibrated, so I'm ready to go. We'll click uh, New Project, and I'll call this the, uh, I don't know, the Multi-Scan, maybe? And I'll change it to Multi-Object Mode now, because, well, I have multiple objects, and the scanner needs to know this. I do not want to scan the texture. I've mentioned before, this is a grayscale texture only, which I am not interested in today, and I'll keep the curved edges removed, so I'll click OK. Now the first thing is always that I need to do is activate the height adjustment. So I'll click that and we see it's not really all that well done. So I'll move the mirror a bit, need a bit more. It's almost a bit too much. Let's go with four and then I'll raise the cutting plane to about here. That should cut off most of the insert. So the height adjustment is good. And then with the light, it's a bit difficult because I've got very different colors of my parts. It's easier when it's more uniform. I'll lower it a tiny bit. We could go around 14 mark. I think that's good. We'll just have a look at what happens. So I'll click scan. Let me actually remove this bar at the top. There we go. And we'll just have a look. So the dog looks pretty good. The uh, wall mount looks pretty good. The electrical plug looks really bad. Why? I assume it's mostly because it's black and then somewhat reflective and my light settings don't work with that at all. So I'm going to remove this real quick. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a scanning spray. Uh, it's basically liquid chalk in a way. So I'm going to spray that onto the electrical plug and then see whether that improves my scan results. Because right now this um, is not good enough. This is not something I want to work with. I don't have enough data, so I want to spray it white and see whether that improves it. Now this right here is a sublimating spray. It'll actually sublimate into thin air after about 12 to 24 hours, so no cleaning necessary. And because of that, I'll just spray the part right here. There we go. And that should already be good enough. I could wait for the spray to dry fully, but I think I'll, I'm too impatient for that. So I'll just click Rescan. It'll delete the scan we've already done. 
and it'll start over. And that already looks significantly better, at least for the top part of the plug. The black area is still a bit difficult, but still better than before. Maybe I would have had to spray at a different angle to really get all of it. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm still not satisfied with this result, but we can also, of course, add scans from view angles that we didn't cover before. So I'm going to tell the scanner to add one there, and that adds a lot more information. Let me add a bit more from a slightly different angle. Need to make sure that I'm not scan as spraying the mirror or a projector or anything like that, because even though it does go away after a number of hours, it would... Uh, prevent scanning right now, which is not what I want. So I'm going to move it a bit more over here and add a scan. Try and get as much detail there. That looks much better now. Add one from over here. Try and get the absolute most out of this plug. There we go. This is now looking very good. Getting lots of information. and filling in all the gaps. You can always see the green areas are the ones that are new. Okay, so I, can, I apparently can't get that area right there really nicely. And let's add something here. To go that far up, let's... Not that nice. Okay, I think that'll do it for now. Um, the key point here is we've got our surface one scanned and we've got it for all of these different parts and then I can, you know, you move the cutting plane or manually delete all of the areas that I don't want to have in my final parts. I'm just going to use the cutting plane even though it will remove a significant part of my models because I want all the Play-Doh to be gone, so like that. And now I just flip around each one of my objects. I'm gonna take the dog, clean it of the residue, and then insert it the other way around, this time sticking the tail end in first. Uh, I'm gonna add a tiny bit. There we go. There, that should do it. Now the wall mount, also clean it of the residue because it's black, it wouldn't scan very well, so I want to get rid of it first. Um, then I will mount it the other way around and the electrical plug as well. Stick it in there the other way around. First I'll cover the hole, and I'll stick it in. And now I'll take my scanning spray again. because obviously the other end was previously stuck in the Play-Doh and hasn't gotten any spray. There, that should be enough. And then I click Flip Scan. So now the scanner knows, okay, I'm looking at the opposite side of these parts. Let's see what we can get. Looks pretty good so far. Obviously some information still missing. But overall, I am fairly happy with this. Okay, I'll add a scan here, hoping to get some more of the electrical plug. And this is probably because it's not dried yet, at least not fully, it's still reflecting too much. I can try and up the brightness, try and get a bit more detail there. There we go. So it was too dark for all those black surfaces. So we do it again from this angle because while well, I'm still missing a lot of information up there. Can't seem to get it. That right there is what I want.
Come on, scanner. You know what I want. Trying to help me out here. Trying to look at it a bit more from the side, maybe to prevent some of the reflections. It's really giving me a hard time. So the best thing here would probably be uh, remove this one from its hole and flip it around 180 degrees and then do another flip scan. For now, we're just going to stick to this and click alignment. And now the scanner will try to align all three parts that we scanned. The plug, the wall mount, and the little dog as best it can. And we'll see what the results for that actually look like once it's done. Because it's calculating for three different ones, it'll take a bit longer than usual. And then we still have the option to go into manual alignment afterwards if necessary. But for now, we'll just have a look. There we go. So, wall mount. Looking pretty good. Then for hole three, that's the electrical plug. And the only worry here is that it might be flipped 180 degrees due to lack of information at the top. But if you ask me, it's looking pretty good with the writing. And then hole six, that's the dog. It's also looking quite good. So if I click OK, I now have my three parts minus, you know, the areas that were cut away by the cutting plane. And now I could add more flip scans. So for example, I could now make another scan where I rotate the plug 180 degrees. I could, I don't know, put the dog in the Play-Doh with its feet downwards to add a little more, to add a little more detail to everything else. So like that. And I don't know what to do with the wall mount because that one was already very good. So. I don't know. Sideways isn't good because then it'll overlap other holes and that'll confuse the scanner. So instead, I guess I'll just do another upside down one. Maybe refine that and then I'll click flip scan again. So we do it one last time and after this, I'm going to call it quits. It'll be good. have to be good enough. But we can see now as uh, the scanning spray has dried, the plug is now actually almost completely visible with uh, pretty high quality. Also, I upped the brightness some, uh, so the dark areas are now picked up very nicely. We have the writing on the plug as well. So now I'm, now I'm happy uh, after aligning these as well. This looks good. Uh, move the cutting plane so it cuts away everything that's unnecessary. Again, click alignment, wait for that to happen, and then I think we're actually satisfied with the result of this multi-object scan. As I said, you can have up to eight objects, but the fuller you make this little, uh, the fuller you make this scan plate, basically, the more objects you have, the more difficult, of course, it is to see the objects that are behind uh, the other ones. So if, if you really are scanning eight objects and all of them are large or wide, it'll be increasingly difficult to get good scan results. With just three items like this, it's very easy. Um, you can probably do five or six, no problem, but with eight, I'm wondering how easy it'll be. So hole one looks good, hole three looks great. I finally filled in the last few holes that I had, and hole six also very nice. We finally covered up the tail as well. There was a big hole there before. And now I've got my three objects finished, and now I click on data wrap, and then I can assign individual names for each one. So number one was my wall. Mount, um, oh, I've got a typo there. Two was empty. Three is the dog. No, uh, no, three is the plug. And then six is the dog. And the other ones I don't care about. I'm going to make unwater tight models. Removing highlights I'll keep off. They are not thin walled parts. And I'll stop hole filling completely. Click OK. And now it'll export each of these. Um, scans individually as their own STL file automatically. I don't need to click save anywhere, anywhere. I don't need to click export. It'll just be finished by the time this processing bar hits 100%. I'll still be able to edit these uh, scan results at that stage. So I can uh, do hole filling. I can delete some sections if I decide I don't want them after all. Uh, so right here, I could either delete one of the whole models or I can use the selection tool. Um, to select some areas and delete them, or I could use hole filling if I uh, wanted to do so. 
um, I can show or hide each one of these uh, objects. I could delete them or I can just open them in a different software. But overall, I'm quite satisfied with these. They look great. I have all the writing on the, on the plug. I have the schematic. On the rear side, I can read uh, the size. The same goes for the wall mount. It tells me exactly all the information that I need to know. And now I could move on and uh, use an inspection software or whatever else I want in order to uh, yeah, inspect these parts. So the scanning process itself is finished. Um, I'll click complete and now all these parts are already saved and I'm done with my scanning process. So that's it for the multi-object scan. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.